Welcome to the Wonder Learn Show. This is Francis Tapon, and in this episode, I'm interviewing Michael Zervos, who is trying to be the person to travel to every single country in the world faster than anybody else. I started my interview with him last week, so be sure to check out that interview where I introduced him. And this week, we dive right into where we left off last week, and that is when he was going to Moscow to check off Russia, one of the toughest countries for somebody with a Greek or American passport to get into. And boy, what a great start to his journey. <laughs> he was detained for seven hours. So he goes into that whole thing. They looked at his passport and they said, Amerikanski, which is means American. And right off the bat, he got into trouble. And, and he will go ahead and describe that whole shenanigans that went on there. Currently, as we speak, I'm recording this on 4-4-2024. He is in Lesotho, which is a tiny nation in the middle of South Africa. It's surrounded by South Africa. I was there just about a month ago or so. It's a tiny mountainous country, and he will go to South Africa after that. Right before that, he was in Maputo in the capital of Mozambique. He'll be in South Africa for a few days, and then his journey will continue. So that is the latest from Michael. And now let's turn to this week's short episode where he talks about being detained in Russia as well as some of the other technical things about his journey like what counts as a country how long does he have to stay there what are the witness statements that he has to do to get the Guinness Book of World Record and tune in next week where I have my third and final interview with him so be sure to subscribe this is Franz Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn and now Michael Zervas. So they told you, Amerikanski. Yes, and I was pulled to the side by another stern Russian man, and he said, have you ever been here before? And I said, no. He's like, okay, sit over there. And I sat there for hours and hours and hours. After a while, I was actually sitting next to a Frenchman who was supposed to work there at, like, RT, and he had a visa and everything, and he was still, like, they wouldn't let him in, right? I got pulled into a, like, a security room, and they left the door open, and I thought to myself, as soon as they close the door, I'm in very big trouble. So let's just try to make that door open, <laughs> like, for as long as I could. And they asked me all sorts of questions. What are you doing here? Why? Oh, this and that and the other thing. It took 30 minutes. I had to show them the passport of a friend that I knew who was living there. And finally, that convinced them that I was there for... Hey, but did you have it on you? No. No, no, no. But it was like I, I WhatsApped her. Oh, okay. Good, yeah, because she was waiting yeah, okay, to okay. like to meet me. Yeah, okay, okay. And okay. she was so worried about. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, sure, sure, sure. And I showed it to them, and they're like, "Oh, so you know how many hours here. in the end? Six to eight hours um, before oh. they let me through. Wow. And it, 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 I don't think I would have gotten through if it wasn't for Lara, who was my friend there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, do yeah. not think yeah. I would have been like Amazing. Okay, so let's let's go over your journey. Okay, let's go more into the why of the journey. Yeah. Oh, you talked a little bit about you know finding happiness and how different people define happiness. Yeah. But some people might say, "Oh my God, Michael, this sounds like such a crazy journey." It's like yeah. you know, how do you define first of all what is you check off a, a country like I've been there. Well, wh how do you define that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay, so th it's based off of Guinness bases this off of the UN um, member states. So there's 193 member states, very political organization, right? Everybody says there's different countries here yeah, and there, yeah. whatever. So 193, and then there's two observer states, Palestine and um, Vatican City. Vatican. So you have to go to all of those countries. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, um, there's different kinds of evidence. If you've got witness statements, you need two in every country. You need a GPS waypoint in every country. You, they like you to take photos and videos, keep all your receipts. They want you to give them a, an itinerary before you leave. Um, there's uh, just all these different hoops. Guinness wants to, uh, They want to see your itinerary. Okay, but yeah. uh, knowing full well that you're probably it'll, not gonna It'll fall. change, yeah, right. It'll, it's gonna change, of course, but they kind of pre-approve it. Right. Uh, and then, um, how long does this whole process take to this communicate? Did it take like six months of talking with them? Or? I think they approved it after three months, and then you have to send them the itinerary, and then they approve it after that. Uh, and then once that's it, I mean, so many people go through the approval process, but they never actually follow through. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So I think they figure that's, le I mean, the bar's high enough. Let's approve it and let them go. And right. If right. he survives, then. <laughs> Okay, good, good. For him. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> right now, the record holder, her name is Taylor Demonbron, and she was born and raised in Alabama. Is she a blonde girl? 
Uh, brunette. That was Cassie de Picole. That was before her. Oh, okay. American yeah, was yeah. on Naked she and was Afraid like, and all this. She was like 25. What was she, 30? I can't remember. I don't, at the time, I don't know. I don't know okay. how old. She's how old older now. Uh, I'm 35 now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but Taylor owns owns the record right now at 554 days. Okay, got it. So it's a year and a half. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. Okay, good. And your goal is? My goal is? Under that. <laughs> under that, yes. I mean, you know, best laid plans of mice and men. Um, I, I, I don't know. I have, I, there, there are different kind of like checkpoints. If I make it to halfway point, I'll probably be able to break the record okay. because halfway is Greece okay. and the rest is Europe. South America, okay. Central, that's okay. easy stuff. Yeah, visa okay. free, visa yeah, arrival. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're looking at like Cuba, Venezuela. Yeah. Right. So, but, so in theory, you can just uh, land in an airport, get a couple of witness statements, and then catch the next flight out. Right? Yeah, yeah. They'll want to see your receipts, your tickets, and all that. But yes, you could get the witness statements, you get your GPS. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, a lot of GPSs, they don't, they, they're blocked by the airport as soon as you have to leave the airport. Oh, interesting. So I've tried to, like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, 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 it's not working, it's not working. When I land in Russia, I'm like, am I going to be able to even get a waypoint? Right. But finally, you leave, and the signal actually comes from the satellite. But a lot of it's blocked. So oh, if you don't have that, they may say no yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know. That's not what but I'm it, doing. But also, you could go to places that illegally. You don't need, to, let's say, if you could... Yes. You could sneak across the border. That's true. And then just get a waypoint, That's get a true. couple of witness statements, and call it a day. Right. I don't know what Guinness would say if they don't, ha- if you don't have a ticket. Well, so here's a weird thing. You can't drive yourself across a border because it's considered a race, and they don't want to create an unsafe environment for people that are racing against the clock, whatever it may be. Anything regarding speed, they have a rule that, like, unless you're a professional driver, whatever it but is. But you can walk. You can walk, yes, you can, you can walk. walk across the right, right. So they haven't said, no, you can't cross right. illegally. Right. I, I because, think it's like, don't I mean, ask, don't tell. There's some countries them. in Africa, for example, that are really hard to get a visa, for example. Yeah. And maybe you could just walk up, go across the bridge, in, and then just right. walk back. Right. And, and, but, okay, but here's the thing, though. I've made it harder for myself than just that. Mm-hmm. In every country, I'm interviewing at least two people. Oh, yeah, that will slow you down. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I, and, and, and you got to find an English speaker. An English speaker, or I have a translation okay. like on my phone in every okay. language that I'll encounter. I did okay. this before I even okay. arrived with a question. Okay, okay. If they don't understand the question, then yeah, I'm screwed. So then you just record their answer. I even record you their may answer. Not understand what they're saying. I may not understand, right? Yeah. And I have a software, an AI software that can translate it, mm-hmm. and then it's like yeah, between seventy to ninety-five percent accurate. And then I'll correspond it with other experts to get some of the words that I'm not missing. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And and so the basic journey is you're going to try to get all the hard countries out of the way. Yes, first. the countries that require visas or are unstable, I want to visit them first. Got it, got it. So, so that's why Russia was early. So right now you're going to be focusing a lot for the next, for 2024, and 2000, you're going to be focusing on Africa, or no? Well, actually, by the time I'm, by the end of 2024, I'll be in Norway. I would have already done Asia, Pacific Islands, Australia, all of that, all of the Middle East, all of Africa. Oh, wow. I will be halfway through Europe. Oh, wow. I, okay, okay. By Christmas, I will be in Norway. That's the plan. Wow. You have to. I mean, that's that's the pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's I like understand. two to three days in yeah, each yeah. country. Yeah. And that ends this episode of the WanderLearn podcast, where we explore travel, technology, and transformation. If you'd like to see the show notes with links to what we've talked about, go to WanderLearn.com and click on this episode. If you'd like to connect with me, just remember F Tapon. That's my first initial and my last name. F Tapon is always my social media username. My website is ftapon.com. Do you want to leave me an anonymous voicemail where you can make a comment or ask a question? Then go to speakpipe.com slash ftapon. Furthermore, if you'd like to get rewarded for supporting my projects, then go to patreon.com slash ftapon. That's where you can pick up some remarkable rewards for as little as $2 a month. Now, five quick favors. Number one, subscribe to the Wander Learn podcast. Two, download it. Three, share it. Four, review it, and five, sign up for my newsletter at wanderlearn.com. Our theme music was composed by Eric Stratman. This is Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn. Mm